The mystery of the transgender of Tiresias of ancient Greece, that is, how he changed gender. Hesiod, the Chearchus, Clearchus, Callimachus, and some others tell about Tiresias and the following. Tiresias, son of Eurerus in Arcadia on Mount Kilini, when he saw snakes copulating, killed one of the two and immediately changed form. From a man, he became a woman and made love to a man. Apollo gave him an oracle that if he kept snakes in intercourse in the same way and in the same way killed one, he would become as he was. Tiresias kept and carried out what was said by the god. Thus he regained his own old form. When Zeus quarreled with Hera, and claimed that in intercourse the woman is superior to the man in terms of erotic pleasure, while Hera said the opposite, they decided to bring him and question him, because he had experienced the, the experience of both erotic ways. When asked, he ruled that of the ten shares of love, the man enjoys one, while the woman enjoys nine. Hera was enraged, hurt his eyes, and blinded him, while Zeus granted him the oracle and life for seven generations. Of the ten shares, one is enjoyed by man, the woman completes the ten, filling her mind. Pemplelus is the old man. Now he speaks of Teresias because they say he lived for seven generations. As the poet of Melambodia also mentions, others claim that he lived for nine generations because he existed in the time of Cadmus. Cadmus is uh, one of the twins that uh, found the city of Thebes, an hour's drive north of Athens, Greece today. Uh, but also beyond Etoclis and Polynesi, for he presents Teresias as saying, Father Zeus, I wish you a shorter lifespan that you would have given me an equal wisdom of mine to possess with mortal men. Now you haven't even rewarded me that much, that you made me long period for life of life to have to live for seven generations of mortal man. Interpretation, like every ancient Greek myth, the present mythical narrative is open to many interpretive approaches, psychoanalytical, anthropological, sociological, religious, etc. Personally, I tend to see in the myth elements of mystery, cult with thoughtic connections. I explain myself. I see here the sacred word of an unknown ceremony in which the initiate receives occult knowledge that makes him wise and conqueror of death. Let us notice that at the beginning of the story, Tiresias is not yet the wise seer, ignorant of the initiate. He even kills a snake, which is a symbol of wisdom in the ancient tradition. This leads to his fall. From man, he transforms into woman. But at the same time, I didn't even know that snake was a, was a symbol of wisdom in the ancient tradition. But at this time, in a paradoxical way, he gains in knowledge. He now understands the sexuality of the opposite sex. He thus combines in his person both male and female knowledge, which is why he is now able to answer a question that even the gods themselves have and don't know the answer to. He is rewarded for his ordeal with divinatory wisdom knowledge of the initiate. However, the snake also has exotic connections and it, it is a symbol of the underworld. Tiresias defeats death itself. That is why, like the antediluvian biblical figures, it acquires unusual longevity. This is why the detail of Tiresias' longevity accompanies the accounts of the sex change he underwent, a seemingly irrelevant detail. Tiresias' blindness corresponds to another widespread motif of ancient Greek mythic thought. Whoever is endowed with divine gifts, divination, longevity here, poetic ability elsewhere, Homer, wisdom, and kingship, Oedipus, suffers from some physical disability. One could still say a lot, for example, of the secret archetypal connection of sexuality and secret knowledge, the erotic and the exotic, the serpent and the health immorality Asclepius, the serpent as mediator of human and divine Hermes, herald of the gods Tiresias, interpreter of the gods. 
it's certain that a careful reading may reveal other such hidden aspects. I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.